Good morning. Good morning. So what makes a healthy high street? What's the criteria that you've used and an unhealthy one, of course? So what we did was we looked at what we consider to be health promoting businesses, things like pharmacy, healthy living pharmacy, particularly um, obviously leisure centers. People might be surprised that we choose pubs to be in the healthy uh, group of businesses, but that's because they increase social cohesion and they help with keeping communities together. Um, and then obviously shops that are related to uh, museums, art galleries and things like that. On the unhealthy side, we did a report three years ago and we highlighted payday lenders, bookmakers, tanning salons. Uh, and fast food outlets and this year we've added uh, off licenses to that um, to that category we wanted to reflect the changes that we've seen in the high street in the last three years uh, as to healthy and unhealthy um, businesses and you think there's a direct link between the high street and life expectancy in the area actually we do we, we can't say it's causal but what we know is that where you live where you work where you play where you grow up and go to school has a massive effect on your life chances mm -hmm. and on your health so health inequalities is something that government has talked about as part of the social injustices that they want to see done and we know that environment is is a really important part. So for example, at fast food outlets, there are five times more fast food outlets in deprived neighborhoods than there are in wealthy ones. The same goes for the clustering of bookmakers in the unhealthiest areas. And the question that would arise is, you know, why do the most deprived communities have to have the most unhealthy environments? And we know that actually local government have been doing quite a heroic job to ch try and make the environment more healthy but they have a, a very difficult job at the moment because their funding has uh, gone down by about a third uh, and they also don't have all the planning they're not able to make changes to, to some of the planning and licensing so and let's let's